How we live in and move through cities has been reset. It has changed overnight with governments mandating that people stay home. Those lucky enough to be able to work from home are doing so. Many are simply out of work, supported by government programs. Significant portions of the economy have been shut down, businesses are struggling, and economic activity has contracted. Never could we have imagined traffic congestion in cities evaporating overnight. Transit ridership wiped out in the blink of an eye. The cost of fuel plummeting. And walking and cycling becoming more critical as both a means of transport and a form of recreation. Just as fast as the reset, we move to rework. In a rush to accommodate our new reality, local governments, transport authorities, and communities have been responding to the changing travel patterns. Public transport services have been cut drastically. Local and major roads have been closed or had lanes removed to provide people on sidewalks more space. Cycle lanes that would have taken years to implement have sprung up overnight. Our cities have changed tactically, swiftly, and without years of planning and debate. Public transit is fulfilling its role in moving essential workers. For transit to continue functioning as an essential service, there is a dire need for support from all levels of government to facilitate a transition to economic recovery. Our time is now quickly transitioning from rework to reimagine. We are currently accepting that how we live, work, and move across our cities will change. As we move to a new normal, how do we use this experience to make things better? We can choose to build upon the positive changes we have seen in the expansion of the public realm and make the temporarily installed facilities permanent. We can even be bolder and double down on these efforts. Cities across the world are now pursuing aspirational plans that repurpose valuable space to allow citizens to walk and cycle safely. As commuting patterns begin to re-establish, the changes in our trips will force us to reassess how we rebuild and invest in our transportation system. The ability of people to shift to single passenger cars is constrained by the limited space for building new road capacity. As such, there is an immense opportunity to accelerate public transport investment, to stimulate the economy through job creation, and to continue to make transit an attractive alternative for more and more people. To be more resilient and to address another threat to humanity, climate change, we can't go back to the previous normal. Let's learn from our time in this reset and rework to reimagine a more sustainable future.